I'm trying to think of a clever tagline to go along with this video that talks about this game because this was honestly a pretty weird one. Like, is it me? Or did this game just go by so quickly that by the time I kind of blinked and looked back out the window and back over onto the TV screen, it was already the third period. We already had a whole bunch of goals and a whole bunch of shots on the board here. This Vancouver-Ottawa game went by so quickly in my perspective. Maybe that's because I woke up really late and I actually woke up right after the puck dropped. But you know what? It is what it is. I spent the entire last night staying up until like, I think it was 7 or 8 a.m. just working on the Manscaped thing that we had for the previous video. But you know what? It is what it is. We have ourselves a game here. The Vancouver Canucks end up winning 3-2 to two in overtime. This one was a lot more anxiety filled than it needed to be for the Vancouver fan base. But you know what? Before we get underway, I just wanted to say over to the Ottawa Senators, this is not the same team that the Vancouver Canucks absolutely steamrolled over all those weeks ago, like three times in a row or something like that. This Senators team was playing a lot better, they had more chemistry, they had more offense, and especially on the defensive side of things, you had yourself some very good shutdown plays. Sure, Joey Decord got lucky a few times, you kind of have to be lucky when you're a goaltender in the NHL to do successfully, but Decord in this one, absolutely solid. He was really good yesterday against Toronto, really good today against Vancouver. He gets beat three times here, but the last one comes in overtime, so I think it's a little bit more forgivable than not. But this one starts off with the Ottawa Senators because they absolutely went out there and started going ham on the Vancouver Canucks in terms of the shots. They had a whole bunch of shots, a whole bunch of zone time, a whole bunch of possession of the puck for this one to start things off. And the Vancouver Canucks didn't even really have their fair share of the opportunities up until it's an offensive zone draw for Brandon Sutter, who wins it back over. Jordy Ben to the net. It's knocked down. A few bounces, a few rebounds, and Jace Howerluck is right in there to shove it into the empty cage. It's one nothing Vancouver a few minutes into the first frame. Things kind of change, though, because Jace Howerluck immediately he goes to the box afterwards. A little bit afterwards is Tyler Myers who fails to clear the puck. It's a weird communication play with JT Miller where they both kind of swipe at it. They both kind of hit it and as a result it goes over to Brady Kachuk who has an open chance and he shoots it off the post. Oh my goodness, that one was way too close for comfort. JT Miller a little bit later had another weird clearing attempt. This time it was intercepted by Evgeny Dadanov. The Sens had a few good chances. Demko is lying down there on the ice and eventually it's thwarted out of danger. My kind of thought process is just, JT Miller, what are you doing? Stop clearing it right up the middle, buddy. The Senators had some more chances after that. Tim Stutzla was denied by Thatcher Demko. So as we've seen throughout the entire season, actually just the recent parts of the season, the beginning of the season was rough for Thatcher Demko, so I'll give him that doubt. We've been seeing Thatcher Demko recently come out here, make some big saves, and he does the same thing here. Up the other way, though, it is Horvat and Howerluck who get the puck in down low. A puck battle ensues behind the net. Colin White is there, and he tries to clear it. He just sends it right up the middle, but guess who is over there? It's Tanner Pearson, the guy whom we spoke about earlier today in the Islanders Trade Rumor video. He gets his first goal in 13 games. His last goal before this was against the Calgary Flames on February 15th, so literally a full month ago. We spoke about how he was on a point drought. Yeah, he finally got an assist yesterday. He gets a goal today. The last point before the assist yesterday was that Calgary goal a month ago. So Tanner Pearson absolutely snake bitten on the season. He's at 11 points in however many games played. I think it's like 32 now. So yeah, finally he gets on the board here. And the Vancouver Canucks end off the period with a 2 to nothing lead because Drake Batherson on the power play goes right off the post at the end of the period. Kind of fearing for my life in this one, because even though it is a 2-0 Vancouver lead, the shots on goal in that first period, 18-9 Ottawa, you don't like to see that at all. The second period starts out, and it's Brady Kachuk who gets a pass on the cross crease, and Thatcher Demko has to get down with the right pad stretched out, covering the back door. So Demko starting off the second period hot, the Vancouver Canucks gave up a 2-on-1 later, where Colin White is there, he shoots it over the goal. 
And then you had yourselves a little bit of a weird play afterwards. It's a Horvat draw that is won by Horvat. Schmidt fails to get it out. The Sens shoot it off the post again, and it bounces in front to Josh Norris, who shoots it, and it kind of looks like it goes off a of Demko and or Edler, and he scores. It's 2-1. to one. What a weird goal there for the Senators. But hey, the shots are 21-9 to nine Ottawa. They're going to take whatever they can get at this point because Thatcher Demko had been so good. But 2-1 to one is the score at this point as Brandon Sutter comes over the other way. He has a point-blank shot on Joey Decord. He doesn't realize he has a lot of time, so he tries to get it off quickly. Easy save made there by the young netminder. Tim Stutzla the other way on some sense pressure, shoots it off the glove of Demko, and it bounces over the net and down. Artem Zub had himself a really good play where he just absolutely splits the D, really walks through Quinn Hughes, and gets a very nice chance on goal. Stopped by Demko, but he draws a slashing penalty. The Sens had another power play as well off of a Horvat slash. The Canucks killed it off, and the Sens continued the pressure, and we had ourselves what was just a very good shift of momentum here for the Ottawa side because they still had the shots, 11-7 the shots here during the second period for Ottawa, but Demko still standing tall. It's a 2-1 game, and the third period starts off with the Vancouver Canucks finally getting some pressure. It's Ben and Edler with some good point shots. Demko still doing his thing. The other chance is coming back, and he's stopping them out. There was a really good save made by Decord where Brock Besser enters the zone with a drop pass to Hoaglander. He makes a crazy move to get by around the D. Centered it for Bo Horvat, who got robbed by Decord on the back door. Similar play to the Thatcher Demko stop earlier in the night. Chances go back the other way, though, as Drake Batherson also has himself a very good opportunity. It's one-on-one -on -one after he takes the puck off of a bad Vertanen turnover in the offensive zone. Demko stands tall, and as we have seen throughout the entire night, hey, this time it's Quinn Hughes. He takes a shot. It's loose in the crease, and Gaudet cannot tap it into the open cage. So you can really start to see the conversion of energy here. The Canucks are starting to get some more chances. They're really starting to actually get some extended zone time in this one. So it's nice to see them kind of tighten down those details in the third period. Eventually, though, the Canucks start to play a little bit more of the defensive style. They ramp up the efficiency. They try to keep the Sens back in their own zone and in the neutral zone. And for the most part, it works up until the Senators pull the goalie. And eventually, the puck is rung in. Thatcher Demko plays it off to the side. It kind of causes some miscommunication for the Canucks afterwards. Edler falls down, it looks like. And then it's Brady Kachuk who takes the puck on the half board, centers it for Colin White, the guy who gave Tanner Pearson that goal earlier. He giveth, he taketh, he scores a one-timer goal out in front here, beats Thatcher Demko up high on the blocker side. That one was a very nice NHL 21 hut kind of one-timer goal. And it's the 44th shot of the game for Ottawa. So, yeah, Demko had played very well up to this point, stopping 42 shots on 43. But the 44th one goes by. The game is tied with a few seconds left in the third, and we have overtime. At this point, I'm kind of thinking, I think the Canucks are kind of going to lose. Like, this has all the energy of a Vancouver Canucks loss. They have the lead, they blow the lead, it's tied up late, and now they're going to the extra frame. It looks like it, but hey... This one starts off with a Besser and Miller 2-on-1, very quickly and efficiently shut down by Thomas Shabbat, who eventually gets another chance later. He gets the puck in on the Canucks blue line, but it's deemed offside. You would have had a one-on-one -on -one with Thatcher Demko had it gone through. Eventually, though, the play is kind of just blown dead, and Thomas Shabbat is forced to go off, but immediately after he goes off, hey, Hughes to Miller, he scores, what a great move there by JT Miller, and the Vancouver Canucks take this one 3-2 to two in overtime. My gosh, Thatcher Demko, take a look at the shots that he faced in this one. 46 shots, 44 saves. Decord makes 25 saves and 28 shots on goal by Vancouver. Both goalies played well, both teams, honestly. I think the Senators played a very good game in this one. They clamped down defensively when they needed to. Joey Decord was making some saves. They got some clutch goals when they needed to as well. And hey, you don't tie the game up 2-2 two to two after being down 2 nothing without doing something right. So for the Ottawa Senators, hey, they get themselves a point here. Given the city of Vancouver some scares over here with that late goal by Colin White, but eventually it is Thatcher Demko that reigns tall. You take a look at the point producers in this one over here. 
Jace Howerluck from Sutter and Ben, Tanner Pearson unassisted, and JT Miller from Hughes and Horvat. So it's kind of crazy. The Canucks are still winning even without Elias Pettersson. That's absolutely blowing my mind. But for the Ottawa Senators, Norris from Stutzla and Zub, White from Kachuk. You love to see those guys over there doing their thing. But that wraps up today's video. You know what? I want to talk about the Sens and the Canucks a little bit more. Let's make a video tomorrow talking about one of the more interesting topics that actually established itself a few years ago. I'm kind of looking for a trip down memory lane, but you know what? We'll cover that tomorrow. Talk to me in the comments what you thought about this game here. Vancouver wins 3-2. to two. I hope you enjoyed this. Videos of Trolls and I and I. And bye. <laughs>